Hi Pisces, welcome to your quantum reading. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising. Welcome to my Cross Watchers. Cross Watcher, you could be dealing with a Pisces, and the message actually just might be for you, so feel free to take it however it resonates with you in your situation. Keep in mind, these are general and timeless readings. Everything you need to access is down below in my description box, my website link, Instagram handle, all of that good stuff is all located down below. And yeah, um, never give your power away over to these readings. You're in full control over your own life, your choices and your decisions. We just try to look for helpful information to hopefully help you move through obstacles and challenges just a little bit easier. That's the goal. And yeah, thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing. Thank you for all the ways you've just been here and supported the channel. Let's go ahead and dive in. Wow. Powerful, powerful start. Wow. Um, You look like you're standing out. You might also be starting to even recognize, for those of you that have been focused on healing or you've just been reaching for a goal or a wish that you have, you're in the upright. Like, it looks like you're making progress. So, wow, this is such a really amazing combination. <laughs> it makes sense. These first ones, though, you got the bardo in the center. Okay. You've got the eternal child and the shadow. I feel like this is more what was happening with um, the eternal child, huh? That feels like someone else in your environment, just because... She, and in general, I think <laughs> I'm the shadow lady, you know? You could have been doing some shadow work, whether you were aware of it or not, but that could have been something that you were um, moving through. There's someone else in your environment that is like um yeah yeah I want to say this Pisces there could be someone else that you're connected to and you're aware that you've been like connected to them and doing some kind of shadow work and this could be a person that is like this eternal child in the reverse is someone who has their own stuff and it's kind of sticky. This person might be kind of like hooked on to you because they're like hooked on your shadow, but they aren't aware you're looking at them. Like you might, I don't know who or where this person is in your life, but your eyes are like very wide open to this person in this situation because something about them, they're very attached to you. And for some of you guys, if this is like, this is actually someone, it's either a child or it is someone that's like in that phase with you. And if it's a shadow thing, I wonder if this person is kind of like latched on to you and they might be playing out something through their childhood trauma, but they're not aware of it. You are. Like, your eyes are open to the situation, but you have someone else that's maybe acting unconscious and they can't see. And that can sometimes feel frustrating that you're, like, dealing with that because it almost feels like you're going through a wake-up. It, and it's something that's... Someone's, like, unconscious to something. Maybe how they're affecting you, but holy cow, you look like you're doing amazing. <laughs> I love that, coming in straight up. Seven of Cups is just saying, like, you have an option. I, I, I guess in this particular formation, it's talking about that someone else in your environment is possibly coming in as a choice or an option for you. You have the six of wands. You could have you could be getting like some kind of victory over this next week. Like you overcame something really challenging. This is a really good combo. 
I just want to make sure you can see it. Setup is a little bit different today, but oh yeah, there's even the devil card. So we have the two of wands, the empress in reverse, and you have the queen of swords in reverse. Okay. I feel like some of you guys, this is your actual mother or it's some kind of mother that you've dealt with, but you look like you're, um, you guys might do something really unique, like a thing that kind of sets you apart from other people and you're aware of it, but you're really good at it. It's the thing that you're skilled at and it's like different, you know, if you were to tell people something that you were into, they'd be like, oh, whoa. You know, it's like different than the norm. And you could have done something unique and it's making you stand out, but you've got someone else attached to you for it. So yeah, we have the Five of Swords. Don't let other people downplay your shine or your uniqueness. Because that could have, this Five of Swords might have been some other people that were in conflict with you. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups reverse. Why is that reverse? Weird. So this could be a skill or a trade that you're trying to work on because you're trying to bring your emotions back into balance. Especially, I feel like what this is talking about, Pisces, for you. Well, this is... I'm not too concerned about the Queen of Cups reverse. I more think that, here's what I think. This is such a typical Pisces message. You have some kind of skill or something that you're really good at. And it's really set you apart and you made it your own. And you could be starting to make progress. Like you're healing and you're doing something because... <laughs> Maybe you were prepared or something, but I'm going to say that in your environment, there's, I'm sure you guys might be realizing like there's all these, there's like a bunch of choices that you have to pick from, whatever that means for you. It could be in opportunities, a living situation. It could be in people, whether that's in romance or like someone that you want to focus on either bringing closer to you in some way, like maybe it's in because you're sitting in the star energy and there could be people that are like kind of popping up here and there and wanting to either be connected with you or they really want to be like linked to you. And some people like, it's like you've got to really differentiate right now between people who have their own agenda or something weird like that because you have the devil here and then and but I like your energy coming out it's very powerful and you're doing the right thing you took some kind of path it was the right path to take but you have some people in the environment it's either some kind of mother that you have dealt with or it's your own mother they're still they're like coming into the energy and some of you guys like I think there's a couple of different feminines that are a little bit like, pff, like shady towards you. There could be some people that are acting a little bit passive aggressive or it's kind of like people might legit just want to dull how shiny you are at something. Like seriously, something that you do. It's pretty freaking amazing. You could be getting recognized in some way. And so... I guess this is the more your challenge in this specific spread is first to make a plan, okay, and then also to not let affect other people in your environment to stop you from standing out because that could have happened. And seriously, you don't even know the psychological effects that can happen when people just come at you. And you could be really, like, honestly, really talented at something. Like, and you were meant to shine and you were meant to do something, like, really cool. And 
you've just got some people in your environment that are not as happy for you or not as on your team. Some of you guys with this Queen of Cups reverse, I mainly feel like you could have been dealing with imposter syndrome or you've been like talking down negatively to yourself and this could have been causing some kind of an upset with your emotions with the Queen of Cups reverse because I, I feel like more of this is like empathing. You might need to create some stronger boundaries, maybe even just mental talk, you know, to not let you um, become really influenced by people in your environment that have either A, been kind of like intimidating and passive aggressive and people that maybe like had an issue, but they never came and talked to you about it. And that's kind of stopped you. Some of you guys that could have been the seed of some kind of imposter syndrome or like self gaslighting. And you might not be aware of it. I'm just like, I'm talking to one specific Pisces that this resonates for, but this is a typical Piscean thing. Um, you are, you like stand out in some way. You could just naturally, people might just naturally gravitate toward you because you just have like this aura about you or this kind of energetic presence that is very, like it has an Aquarian feel to it. Whether you have Aquarian placements or not, it's just like you have a very healing nature to you because you could be, have this capability to empathize with people and you can understand people and you've got someone here, like I do feel like someone has been a little bit obsessed or become really, really attached to you and it feels sticky. Like you're just like, you know, maybe it is, it is attached to some kind of shadow work, but I think you just need to keep going through whatever you're doing to heal yourself. You might notice that it's naturally energetically pulling you away from someone else. And I'm getting like someone might um, feel you disconnecting or feel you separating yourself from them. But yeah, that Queen of Cups reverse just mainly looks like if you've been going through some emotional highs and lows... You might be like something about working with your hands because that eight of pentacles is like a, it's task oriented. It's very like working with your hands and doing something productive like that. It could be the thing that's helping you process some emotions, especially when it comes to a couple of people in your environment that you've been really closely connected to because, you know, I think that's the other part of it too is some of you guys, there's someone that still really like has an issue either with the fact that you did try to implement some kind of boundaries or separate from someone because you could have felt like this person was maybe having a, an effect on your emotions in a negative way or someone didn't respect the fact that you needed to be stay separated from them because every time I get the queen of cups reverse it's like it's empathing but it's the negative side of of things you know it can be more like something about like that you're really just picking up someone else's emotions and it's not yours and so empathing comes with a whole wide range of things. It's like a combination of the the things that you do. It's like freaking occlumency, you know? The things that you do on a day-to-day -day basis to make sure that your mind is really sound and that you're in your own emotional states rather than like being too absorbed in other people's situations. And for those of you, if something did happen um and some people had a problem with you you just might need to like move on and recognize literally that some people are just like I don't know it's acting really strange and but it's like they lack the communication skills five of swords is like it's 
um, being inauthentic in communications, and especially when it comes with these combinations, it's like a little passive aggressive. I keep wanting to say that. And I would just have like self-talk in your mind saying like, you're not responsible for other people's emotions. And if people don't come in and communicate with you and actively tell you like, hey, this is affecting me this way or, you know, actually come and confront you straight on, it's not your responsibility anymore to go in. And I don't think that you need to beat yourself up because some of you guys, that five of swords could be that, that you've just kind of like, like a self gaslight or something internal is going on and it's really affected maybe you taking action on something or you completing something like something could have really affected you but yeah over this next week it'll be a good thing but I do think also there's a person that's specifically trying to get your attention for some particular reason you could be making a plan around this but like someone maybe you, if someone's like um, if you've got some options to choose from either which direction you're going to go next, um, you could have a person in your environment that's like trying to get your attention specifically for some interesting reason. Okay. I'm going to dive into the extended Pisces. If you want to join me over there, feel free, go down below, click on the Vimeo link, see it over there. But Pisces, if this is where we leave things, sending you so much love, wishing all the very best. See you in the next reading. Take care.